Hi, this is Steve Sheridan from the NoSilicast podcast, and I'm here to show you an unboxing of the Nest Protect smoke and carbon monoxide system. So first, let's open the box, and we'll use our handy OpenX tool. Invented by Robert Lloyd Lewis, friend of the show and producer of Dexter. So let's find a nice seal. Oh, I noticed right here, right off the bat, it says, must be connected to 120 volt AC. So they give you a nice warning before you even open the plastic that this is the 120 volt AC model. All right, we'll slice here without hopefully getting my fingers. And that is our uh, family dog, Tesla. She's here to help with the video. So here's the nest. Ooh, very nice packaging. Let's uh, open the top. Oh, nice. And look at that clean packaging. Hmm, a little reminiscent of another company that uh, Mosilicast knows well. Let's just open up the... Um, Packaging here for the literature, and we see, aha, Nest, welcome home, very nice, a certified professional installation guide, and the user's guide for the Nest system, along with three sticking, stick on, oh, I see different languages, three warning stickers. Okay, we'll put those aside, and since we're from the Nocillicast, we won't be reading the guide, we'll just jump right into it, shall we? There's the nest itself, protected by a nice clear plastic cover. We'll put that aside. How nice. Let's uh, pull out the nest. Oh, and uh, look at here. Before we get into the detector itself, let's look at the packaging a, little, a touch more. Here's a base plate. Look at that. Look at that packaging and attention to detail. We see some mounting screws here embedded in the cardboard. We see three wire nuts here and a nice cle uh, cleanly laid out uh, 120 volt uh, AC wiring connector. How nice. Well done, Nest. Okay, um, we have a mounting plate. Here I see the holes for the four screws. Thank you, Tesla. And on to the Nest protect system itself. Very clean design. Let's look at the back plate for a moment. I see the 120 volt uh, connector here, the pins for it. And something you don't often see in a smoke carbon monoxide detector, a micro USB port. But I, I think that is for not normal use, probably for diagnostics. Handy pull tab. I assume pulling this will expose the battery and start up the system, but let's see if they deliver the NAS charged or not, shall we? Nest. Press the button now for English. Shall we? Ready. Press to test. Let's run a test. This is only a test. The alarm will sound. The alarm is loud. The test starts in 10 seconds. Press or wave to cancel. 10, <laughs> 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. This is only a test. Testing smoke. You hear that, Tesla? Testing yep. carbon monoxide. Finishing up. Just a moment. The test is finished. Everything's okay. Very nice. Uh, obviously, uh, good design here by Nest. I'm looking forward to uh, mounting this in the Sheridan household and making our home safe. And uh, that's it for Steve Sheridan from the No Silicast podcast, signing off with the Nest unboxing. Well, I can't go the whole thing without asking a question. Yes. You talked about 120 volt, but then you talked about battery. I'm confused. I believe the battery is... A backup battery in the event the 120 volt is out, we lose power and 
The Nest will continue to work, although I haven't read the literature to see how long. But I'm <laughs> pretty sure there's a battery backup. But you can buy a battery-only Nest, I believe. We specifically bought the one that uh, had 120 volts? Correct. I believe there's a battery-only version, but this one is designed to, to tie into the house 120 power. Okay, now I'll let you sign off. This is Steve Sheridan signing off.